Today, I'm going to try my first attempt at homemade French fries using my new Ninja Foodie. I'm using palm oil as my oil as I like how it browns things so easily. I expect that that will help to make these French fries a success. And because I don't normally fry anything ever in my house, I don't have a French fry cutter. So today I'm going to prep these by hand. I'm going to cut them. So I've got them all scrubbed up and I measured it out. It's approximately a pound with these four potatoes. And I'm going to season them with the Lowry seasoning salt. So my thought is that I need to make these as uniform as possible, being that the more uniform they are, the uh, more even the cooking's going to be. So let's see how that dry these off as they're quite wet, because I want the oil to stick on them. And uh, actually, I am going to put them in the crisper. It talked about the it talked about preheating the ninja for five minutes before you start the actual cook time. I'm going to take that ten minute five minutes, and I'm going to use it to dry these potatoes. So the potatoes, like I said, they're a little bit on the wet side, so I'm going to take this time for heating up the unit. I'm going to go put the lid down, air crisp, 360 degrees for five minutes to preheat, and start. After five minutes in the heating up mode, which is basically five minutes in the fryer mode, they're looking a lot better than they did when they went in there. I'm now going to put them into a bowl, add a teaspoon, or sorry, a tablespoon of palm oil. And I'm going to sprinkle them with seasoning salt, which is like one of my favorites. And give them a stir to try and get the oil around all the different pieces of potato. Seems easy enough. I think I'll add just a little more seasoning salt and do a little bit more of a stir just to be safe. And now I'm going to put them back in the basket. Now, when they when I had them in the warm mode, I did stop and stir it a couple of times to move the potatoes around so that they would evenly get the are drying out. So we got eight minutes left on the 19 minute timer. And that's how they look. They already look like they're coming along nicely. Now I'm going to give them a stir and now I'm putting the lid back down and continue on. And on it goes. Okay, it's been 19, oh, look at that. Well, that's pretty skookum. Wow. Let me give them a stir. A stir, I've decided that I'm going to put it on for another five minutes. So I'm gonna close the lid, turn the power on, go to air, Pick the temperature at 360, oops, sorry, and then I'm going to go down to five minutes. So 
We put them in for 19 minutes to start. I've added another five minutes, so that's 24 minutes. Oh, look at that. One tablespoon of palm oil on fresh potatoes. I can't wait to try this. I want to give it one more stir. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. Let me just lift this up for you. Take a look at that, eh? Hey? Isn't that amazing? I choose to make my French fries from a fresh potato because if you read the ingredients on a bag of potatoes and what they treat it with to get the French fry to the point that it's bakeable usually in the oven, uh, there's a lot of ingredients on there that I have no idea what it is. And if that's the case for me personally, I choose to make it from scratch. It's definitely cooked. I don't wanna burn my mouth. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more salt on here. Oh, I forgot the one I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. All right, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm wearing a Christmas apron. My foodie is a Christmas present. That I decided to use early. These french fries, just, I can now add these to my diet. They're so good. So I would recommend using the fresh potatoes, cutting them like I did as evenly as possible. And while you're doing the preheat, put those potatoes in the basket and let them dry off in the preheat cycle. Bring them out, put them in, a, in the bowl, season them with one tablespoon of oil. Now I used palm oil and I got an excellent crisp. Oh, I wish you could taste these. Oh, I can have french fries. It was easy. So I had to uh, put it in for an extra five minutes. It said in the chart, it said to you do it for uh, 19 minutes I ended up doing it for 24 minutes but that's an that's an, a success I hope you try your foodie I hope you try the french fries I hope you make your own french fries keep coming back cuz I'm gonna be making more have a great day